Okay. Let us start. Dear boys, let us start now again. Okay. Defects of British rule. In lesson number three, the third point is subsidiary alliance. We'll start from this. What is this subsidiary alliance? When British came in India, here, they established their rule in Bengal. And in Bengal, after the battle of Battle of Baksa, they established their dual here government. But when Lord Wellesley in 1789, when he came to India as a governor general okay, of British, at that time Lord Wellesley introduced this new type of alliance. Alliance means friendship. New alliance with the Indian powers, he Indian kings, he signed. Now, what is this? What? Why establish this? First, the main objective, Lord Wellesley's main objective was to establish British dominance in India. That is, he wanted to establish the British company's power, company's dominance all over India. Now, why he wanted this? Friendship with Indians. There were many reasons. Here it was not a real friendship, it was a cunning activity done by the British. What he did? He signed the alliance with many Indian rulers. What was this alliance related to? What is the meaning of this alliance treaties? First, by this alliance, British, that is East India Company. Here, assured East India Company assured Indian kings the military help that the British Company will give in provide India the military help. Now, before that, also British was selling their military weapons to Indians, but they were selling that time, and Indian all the kings were have were in race to buy it. All they used to buy it because in those days the advanced military weapons was supposed to be a source of your power. Okay, but now British want did not want to sell those things. They wanted to make a dominance with the help of the military power. What they did? They said that you sign the treaty, we will give you the military help. Indian rulers have to maintain. What were the conditions for this? When Indian ruler used to sign the your subsidiary alliance with the British, at that time one thing was that Indian rulers have to maintain British army in their courts. That all Indian rulers, all small kings in India had their own court. And in that court it was said that there should be a British your representative of the army. Then at the same time, it was assured that British and military will provide the military help to the king who signs it. And that's why it was said that the British army should be there in the Indian kingdom. And in return to that, it was said that your Indian ruler have to pay in cash to the British army which was here protecting their kingdom. Those kings who were not able to pay in tax, it was said that the part of the territory should be given to the British. Now, in this way, it was to take the military help to get the new advanced weapons. And there was always clashes, small, small clashes between small, small kingdoms. To avoid that, many Indian kings signed the here, subsidiary alliance. Some Indian rulers signed alliance. Initially, they thought that British will give them help. There will be no need to have their own army and so on. But when they signed the subsidiary alliance, first thing happened that all Indian small, small rulers lost their freedom. They lost their freedom. So in this way, here, one by one, small, small kingdoms were 
he was started signing the your military alliance that is subsidiary alliance later on when all the many kings signed at that time after the we know that what happened in maratha in the last point we have studied that marathas also had fight with the british and in that maratha lost the fight in the beginning and then afterwards when maratha lost the fight at that time on the throne of uh, peshwa peshwa raghunath rao's son bajji rao second was appointed by british and he was when he was appointed he also decided to sign the alliance in 1892 subsidiary alliance was signed by bajji rao second that is bajji rao peshwa second this alliance was signed at versailles and it was signed at versailles that's why the treaty by which maratha lost the freedom that was called as well known treaty of treaty of versailles so this is about the dual subsidiary alliance here a subsidiary alliance which took place in india and what were the effects it was a cunning policy adopted by lord wellesley he introduced that he, there was no any choice for the indians because they wanted the advanced weapons and they wanted the protection to get the protection they decided to get, take the protection from the british and when they took the protection from the british they lost their freedom because there was a british army in their court british army in their kingdom and this lost the freedom of independent or here they lost the independence of all the rulers in this way cunningly your lord wellesley was able to bring whole india without having more fight without directly fighting with the indian kingdom he here here won the india and and that we have studied that bajji rao second also signed the alliance and maratha also lost their here freedom in 1802 really but 1802 it was not over because those bajji rao second signed it or the marathas not agreed that they were opposing that and that's why here some other maratha sardars they decided to challenge the bajji rao second okay they did not accept this and that's why marathas again came together to fight against the british and second time the anglo maratha that is marathas and british war took place Okay. Here, then in the second battle also Maratha was lost. By that time, this Bajji Rao second also understood that by signing the subsidiary alliance, he also has lost the freedom, and that's why he joined the hands with the other Maratha Sardar. And third battle took place in the year eighteen hundred and eighteen. And after the battle. third battle between marathas and british here the marathas lost that battle and they lost their freedom also in this way the marathas became lost their total freedom and they hold total maratha power okay. now there is another one point which is said in your book that is chatrapati pratap singh who was who was this chatrapati pratap singh pratap singh was a Your ruler of Satara, okay, and that we will see by the time. Before that, you please note down this in your book. Hello.
பிடிச்ச கஷ்டம் சொல்லுறது ஹலோ 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 பிளீஸ் அன்மியூட் யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு சி தேட் ஹலோ யூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு லிசன் மை வாய்ஸ் okay now what i will do i will uh, here you have to write down these points okay subsidiary lines write down in the notebook whatever points i have mentioned i will again uh, go through the this again okay camera and we'll see wait a minute then i will continue for the next points after dual governments हर्षो कस कर पाठीमाग कस जाए पाठीमाग कैमेरा कस हेलो हाँ नोट डाउन नोट डाउन ना किती वेळ धरणार टॉपिक इज इफेक्ट ऑफ ब्रिटिश रूल ओके first point is subsidiary alliance uh, or I, i will dictate you will write is it possible to dictate and write hello okay dictation will be better no okay see now effects of british rule that is first point subsidiary alliance s u b s d i a r y a w l i e n c e subsidiary alliance from that first point note down in 1789 comma lord wellesley l capital w capital l o r d lord wellesley w e w l e s l y lord wellesley introduced in 1789 lord wellesley introduced subsidiary alliance introduced subsidiary alliance kay kalta ka kay kalat nahi bal hello
हा काय कळत नाही कोणत्या म्हणाला कळत हा इन सेव्हन्टीन एटी नाईन लॉर्ड वेलेसली इंट्रोड्यूस सबसिट्रायरी अलायन्स एस यू बी एस आय डी आय ए आर वाय सबसिट्रायरी अलायन्स नाव द यू शुड नो द मिनिंग ऑफ दिस सबसिट्री मीन्स पार्शल ओके पार्टली अँड अलायन्स मीन्स फ्रेंडशिप दिस इज द मिनिंग ऑफ दिस वर्ड इज पार्शल फ्रेंडशिप ओके सेकंड पॉइंट His objective was. His objective was. His objective was to establish British dominance. To establish British dominance. third third point he signed alliance he signed alliance he signed alliance with many indian rulers he signed alliance with many indian rulers next point alliance assured alliance a w i a n c e alliance assured a w s u r e d assured military help from british hello ha ah. ओके आता काय करूया मग नंतर पुढच्या वेळी आता हे आपण हे पाठवणार आहे आता व्हिडिओ काढवलाय आपण हॅलो ते पाठवणार आहे ओके व्हिडिओ पाठवतो त्यावेळी आता नेट ओके आता आम्ही काय करू चला आता हॅलो बघू आपण जेवढं होईल तेवढं आपण करतोय ओके 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 आपण हा सगळे लेक्चरच पाठवणार आहोत आपण नंतर बघू कसं कसं काय शाळेत ते चालू आहे शाळेचं आम्ही त्याच्यासाठी शूटिंग करतोय आता ओके ओके विच पॉइंट वॉज थर्ड पॉइंट इज वॉज कवर्ड नो ही साइन दलायन्स विथ द मेनी इंडियन रुलर्स नेक्स्ट अलायन्स अश्युअर्ड मिलिटरी हेल्प फ्रॉम ब्रिटिश ओके नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इंडियन रुलर्स हैव टू इंडियन रुलर्स हैव टू मेंटेन Indian rulers have to maintain British army in their court. Indian rulers have to maintain British army in their court.
नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इंडियंस इंडियन रूलर्स हैव टू पे कैश हैव टू पे इन कैश और पार्ट ऑफ देयर टेरिटरी Indian rulers have to pay in cash or part of their territory to the British. To the British. Now these were the conditions. Here point uh, here alliance military help. Then Indians have to pay me, me here. Have to maintain British army. These were the conditions. And now what happened because of this last here. some indian rulers signed alliance and lost their freedom this is the what is the outcome of this some indian rulers signed alliance and lost their freedom next is some indian rulers signed alliance signed alliance and lost their freedom in some indian rulers signed alliance and lost their freedom next point in 1802 in 1802 bajirao second bajirao second signed alliance at versailles signed alliance at versailles this treaty this treaty is known as this treaty is known as treaty of versailles treaty of versailles this treaty is known as treaty of versailles by which by which marathas lost their power or freedom by which marathas lost their freedom by which marathas lost their freedom okay this point is completed here okay we'll go through the next important point that is dual government pay attention those who are not on the here your videos please on the videos most of you are not on the videos i am not able to see what you are doing many of you are there okay i will again continue again i will start the recording but instead of on the board i will orally tell you now 
आय एम नॉट एबल टू शो हाऊ टू डू द फोटोज जे फोटो काढता येत असते तर मग जमलं असतं आणि ते पाठवता येतात त्या बघितलं असतं लेट इट बी Let us start now. The next point that is dual government. It is dual, D-U-A-L, dual government. Note down that point and then we will see the other points which will there. I will give it tomorrow to you. What is the meaning of dual government? Here, you know that first Indian power which lost the power was Bengal. Okay. Here, there were Nawabs ruling Bengal. Battles took place at Baksar and the battle of Baksar lost the freedom of the Nawab of Bengal. That I have told you in the last points also. When in Bengal, British started their power, they at that time, Robert Clive, who owned that battle, okay, he was appointed as the governor of Bengal. What was the position which was given? It was he was not a governor general. He was called as governor of Bengal. Now this Robert Clive here start introduced this dual government. Robert Clive introduced this dual government in 1765. That is in 1765 after winning the battle of Baksar. Robert Clive introduced this dual government system in Bengal. What was the conditions of this? By this, first condition which was laid by the British on the Bengal was the taxes from the Bengal province will be collected by British. That is, by the dual government, company got the right to collect the revenue tax here which in the province of Bengal means here dual government means two governments were there now in Bengal half government was of Bengal Nawab and half government was of British according to that East India Company's ruler Robert Clive started to collect the tax and maintaining law and order Means all the defense and other things, look other things, war affairs, okay, and also to do some uh, good work, beneficial work in the that state. That right came in, remain in the hand of Nawab. Means there were two government, Nawab government and British government. Collection revenue tax came in the hand of British, and maintaining law and order remained in the hand of Nawab. Now, what happened because of this? First thing, British started to get money in the form of tax. That East India Company was profited very much. Now, second thing, when they started to collect the money, revenue tax, at that time, they also started to yeah, give more preference to the East India Company merchants. Okay. And there was here the East India Company merchants now they started to do business. They started to plunder Indian here farmers. Plunder means exploit. They started to buy the goods with very cheap rates. There was no any other competitor now. They were, had their own power. Okay. And because of this, now British started to earn huge amount of profit. British started to earn huge amount of profit. Now, in this, another thing happened. During this, another thing happened that some of the British officers were corrupted. ऑफिसर आपला आपण अधिकारी आहे पैसा मिळवायचे सोर्स आपल्या हातात आहे पावर आहे त्या पावरचा उपयोग करून बरेचसे ब्रिटिश अधिकारी काय व्हायला लागले भ्रष्टाचारी व्हायला लागले दे स्टार्टेड टू अर्न ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ मनी 
instead of giving it to the company, they started to fill their own pockets. Anek adhikari swataji kishe bharu lagi. Now listen here. Here, actually the British government was, has introduced this East India company in India and British government was getting the tax benefit. But now these people started to get the personal profit. And these people started to become, the officers started to become very rich. And this, here the voice again, this was rose in Britain. आता ही बात में ब्रिटेन में देखिए लेकि भारतात ले अधिकारी अपने अधिकार आता गैर पापर करूँ तीतर भ्रष्टाचार करता है ओके Sure. How should stop? Kasa karay zare. Hmm. 